Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Katie and I seem to have a new subscription box here. Oh, exciting, right? So this is the Artful box made by a stationery company called Oh Dear and this is a new box that they've launched and it's been all over social media and I thought, let's give it a try. Now, I had an inkling that it would have Posca pens in there and a few other bits and pieces. And it cost me, I believe, £24.50. And that was a special introductory offer. It's a three monthly box and its normal retailing price is £35. So it's not a cheap one. So upon opening it, it is beautifully presented the box it came in is gorgeous and it was bundled up very nicely and all of the materials i'm showing you on screen now were in a really nice envelope and it also came with a sketch pad and a magazine but as with any good unboxing video let's talk about swatching the lovely contents out so to start off with there is a Tombo Fudenosuke, I can't pronounce it, but it is like a black line pen with a bit of a squidgy nib. It's like a bullet nib, but I can do thick and thin lines with it. We've also got four Posca pens, the 1.8 to 2.5 millimeter pens, and they are from the pastel range. We have an aqua green, a light pink, an apricot, and a light green and I also did a little chuck some water on it with a wet brush test to see how they would behave and it was very nice it was lovely as pretty much what I would expect from a Posca pen. We also have a another black liner pen which is the Tombow Mono Twin and that has a 0.8 millimeter end and a 0.4 millimeter end and yes yeah, nice to write with also included are the tombow water braced brush pens and they're like a fiber brush and we have that in a gray and in a black and you have a pointy brush type edge as well as a bullet turn and water soluble as expected we also got a tombow pencil in 3h and an eraser Oh, and the sketch pad. So to, well, it's a bit of a weird one really because unlike Upcrate and Scrollbox, the worst wasn't really a particular prompt in there and I will go over these towards the end of the video. So I thought, well, it's made by a company called Odea, so I thought I would draw a stag and a doe using the materials in the box. So using the 3H pencil and obviously the eraser, when I've made some mistakes, I just sketched out a simple design and nothing overly fancy or elaborate. I tend not to do too fancy or elaborate for an unboxing because I'm kind of, it, it, this is like an extension of the swatches, so you're not going to get any amazing masterpieces and it has been a little while since I've used Posca pens so I think maybe if anything from this box it's perhaps just given me a little nudge to start getting the acrylic markers back out and having a play around with them again. I used the apricot for the doe's body and for the stog's body I decided to use the aqua green and to add a lighter colour for the chest and the muzzles and anywhere where it's going to be lighter on the deer I used the same coloured pen and just diluted it with some water and just pushed that colour around a little I also wanted to make it just a teeny tiny little bit kawaii and gave them circular pink cheeks because why not I also used the grey Tombow pen for the background and diluted it with water and for the grass I used the green Posca pen I did a layer of the black Tombow once the green Posca pen had dried activated it with water and then went back in there again with the green pen I also coloured in the antlers of the stag and that's pretty much it it's pretty basic drawing today if I be honest with you now I want to talk about the box a little bit more so I'm going to let the drawing play in the background. If you want me to do a bit more of an in-depth 
Posca pay, well, Posca drawing, painting, let me know in the comments and I can make that happen if you want. So let's talk about the value of the box. I paid as an introductory offer £24.50, its normal price is £35. The items, I'll go through each one, the Posca pens, the aqua green £3.49, apricot £2.89, light pink £2.49, light green £2.59 and these are the prices I found on Amazon. The Tombow grey and black brush pens were both £2.95 each on Prime. The permanent marker by Tombow was £3.25 on Prime. The Tombow Fudenosuke, I don't know if I'm saying that right, £3.15. The eraser I had to guess, so I went for £2.50. The pencils I could only see in a six pack at £11.95, so I divided that by six and that is just under £2 and I put that down as £1.95. And the paper, because it was an unbranded one, I had to make an estimate and I had a look at the daily cartridge pad A5, 250, oh no, 25 pages, 220 GSM? Yeah, 220 GSM, and I saw that for the price of £4.40. However, I know that the paper that came in this box was not of that quality. It was too toothy and completely the wrong paper for the materials. The price that I added up came to £32.61, so that doesn't really hit the normal price that it's going to be there for. Now, you could argue you get a magazine in this and it's full of inspirational ideas. Well, it's 80 pages long, 10 of which are adverts for items you can buy off their website or other products. And I, I don't see the point in that. You have to go online to order this box. So obviously all of them items are there to ch check out on site. So I don't get it. The inspirational and you could say prompt ideas were three double page spreads. And I'll show them on screen in a minute because I'm a bit annoyed by one of them. Well, actually, I'm a bit annoyed by two of them, but one of them was okay. You also got Skillshare the first three months for free. Now, a lot of YouTube channels offer Skillshare, whether it's one, two or three months for free. And I've seen on sponsored posts on Facebook, if you sign up to Skillshare, you get two months for free then. So... I don't know. I also checked out the affiliate scheme for, well, just briefly skimmed over it, and for every sign up, I think they can earn up to $10. So, yeah, what's that all about? These are just my findings, and I'm not going to say, don't get this, this is the first box by this company, but when you look at Upcrates and their first box, how right they got it, and you compare it to this, I just feel that it's just not really, it's not really in tune with an art subscription box, which is what I believe they were pitching it as. So I also noticed on one of the pages, these are a couple of scans, there's a missing pen. Now this is the featured artist having a little sketch talking about the materials, but there's a pen there that we didn't get in the box and it looks like it should have been included. What's that all about? These are the instructions for the first prompt. It's literally photographs numbered with bullet points. This prompt says you need to buy a white Posca pen. They didn't include one because they're readily available on the high street and this was just drawing on jars. These last two projects I couldn't do with what was in the box. So why would you include that in there? Why? I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. The magazine was nice, but it's not what I wanted from the box. And I don't know. I, I mean... I wanted to try this, I really did. I wanted it to be an amazing experience. The Posca pens are nice. There's too many black liners in there and the paper's all wrong. I don't know. For me, I'm not gonna subscribe to this long term. This is it. It was beautifully presented, but there's just not enough in there to keep me biting. Does that make sense? Of course, you can all make your own mind up about this and all the prices of what I found on Amazon are literally what I found 
within 24 hours of the box. We all know how things can inflate and decrease. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the drawing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!